to the first session of hypertext markup language but before that welcome to my channel again code with me so friends in this session we will be speaking about the basic introduction to html and we guys also come across that currently the fifth version of html is running that is html5 so friends speaking about the objectives of this video we'll coming up uh, we'll be coming across a few of the objectives that includes the introduction to the html that are what is hypertext markup language so and different types of tags that is used in html basic syntax of html and followed by application and advantages of html so friends what is html hypertext markup language so friends as per the definition of hypertext markup language the standard markup language that is used for document design to be displayed in a web browser so friends if you want to speak in a clarity way html is mainly used to create web pages and it can be assisted by technology such as cascading style sheets and followed by javascript that means if you want to write a cascading style sheets and javascript you have to know html because the basic syntax of cascading style sheets and javascript should in include html so if you want to write css and followed by javascript you have to know html at any cost so friends next come up by html as i said before html is widely used to create web pages okay friends and next the programmatic way of html is uh, started using pairs but in html pairs always comes in form of tags that means tags are always come in pairs they start with opening tag and followed by the closing tag okay friends if you want an example, example you can clearly see here, friends, heading tag example, followed by there is a two tags. One is h uh, without slash, and is and another one is h with slash. And h without slash is called as opening tag, and h with slash is called as closing tag. And in between that, you can write your messages. And you can execute the program. When you execute the program, welcome to HTML is displayed on your browser whatever it may be you can execute in chrome in my mozilla firefox or internet explorer okay friends so next speaking about the different types of tags that is used in html so as per the coding fashion of html html the syntax contains few of the tags that is html tags which signifies that you are writing a html document it also contains opening tag and closing tag and next comes heading tag friends now pay listen carefully heading tag is used to contain all the head elements in the html file. if you ask me what are all the head elements when that is first comes title and second comes styles so friends uh, if you want to write a cascading style structure program the style of the css is written inside the head tags that is also called a head element and next come title tag which used to give the title to the html document which is present inside the head tag Next comes body tag. You should define the body of the HTML document. That means all the internal coding and the implementation alignment of the HTML web page is written inside this body tag. So friends, and speaking about the different type of attributes that is in HTML. So friends, if you want to write a web page, you have to ensure that a web page usually contains an images, a video, tables, blocks, and whatever it may be. But here are the three major attributes that you have to come about is text attributes image attributes video attributes so friends in this video i'll be explaining the definition and if you want to know the in-depth details of the text attributes via coding i'll be starting a step-by-step -step coding procedure so speaking about this text attribute friends it includes all the tags which is used in the alignment of a text same goes with image attributes and same goes with the video attributes so friends and speaking about the basic syntax of html as i've explained to you the tags in the html before html contains this these many tags along with that you can clearly see a new tag here document uh, doc type html this this tag doc type html friend does not have any closing tag because this is an inbuilt tag which is called as doc tag which signifies that the type of the document that you're using is a html and followed by html tag opening and closing followed by head tag opening and closing followed by 
title opening and closing followed by body tag opening and closing and there is a heading tag and paragraph tag so this is the basic syntax of html this is how you code html okay so if you want to know the in-depth details i'll be starting the coding uh, from next video so when i execute the program you will have a clear picture of where this title will be pasted and where this heading will be pasted and where this paragraph will be pasted so speaking about the applications of this html okay that is used for web developments web development creation internet navigation cutting edge features responsive image on web pages client side storage offline capability costs and data entry support with html see friend here i'm not going to explain the in-depth details of each one because if you want to know the clear scenario of this how this coding part is implemented with these applications so i'll be explaining where this coding part okay in each coding part i'll be explaining where this web documentation will be used where this internet navigation will be used how cutting edge is implemented how response image is implemented client side often what treatment okay from the next video please ensure that you have to follow step by step please watch uh, please watch all the videos of html step by step so if you miss a video you will kind of skip the class okay friends so so if you like this video friends request to kindly like and subscribe the video and before directly closing this video i would like to say i'll be uploading all the details of this uh, all the coding for this html step by step procedure okay request to kindly please uh, subscribe and for more replacements you should kindly please check my playlist which i'll be created as html okay friends thank you very much have a nice day keep coding